Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. I am Preeti. Today I came up with an important and interesting topic in Power Apps that is Power Apps Collection. In this tutorial, I will tell you what is Power Apps Collect function, what is Power Apps Clear Collect function, what is a clear function in Power Apps, how we can create a collection manually in Power Apps, and finally we will see how to create a collection using a set point list. So let's begin. First of all, what is a Power Apps Collection? So Power Apps Collection is a temporary table of data that is local to your app. It can be populated with data from various data sources like SharePoint, SQL Server, Excel, etc. or created dynamically within the app. As you know, like we have various kind of uh, data sources like SharePoint, SQL Server, Excel. Similarly, Power Apps Collection is a type of data sources that is available inside the Power Apps application. We can create a collection using various data types, various data sources like uh, SharePoint, SQL Server, Excel, etc. Collection are useful for storing and manipulating data locally within the application without needing to interact directly within the, with the uh, external data sources. And you can see here the syntax of the Power Apps collection is collect collection name and data source. That means you need to provide a collection name and then uh, like uh, from uh, which data sources you want to create a collection you need to specify the data source name over here next we will see what is a power apps clear collect function so clear collect is a function in power apps used to create or reset a collection so when you will use the clear collect function you specify the name of the collection you want to create or reset along with the data you want to populate with it if the collection is already exist then the clear collect will clear all the data from the collection and then it will add a new data so he, here you can see the clear collect uh, function uh, syntax is clear collect then you need to provide the collection name and then you need to specify the data source name then what is a power ups clear function the clear function in power ups is used to clear the content or data of a collection when you will apply the clear function to a collection it removes all the data stored in that collection it means if you want to remove all the data from the uh, from a power ups collection then you can use this function then uh, this syntax the syntax of the clear function is clear then you need to provide the collection name that's it now i will show you how we can uh, create a power ups collection manually and using a set point list so now let's jump to my power up screen and let me create a power ups collection and show you so i came to my power up screen that i have created already so now i will tell you how we can create a power ups collection uh, manually so we can create a power ups collection on apps on start property screens on visible property and as well as buttons on select property so now i will tell you how we can create a uh, power ups collection manually using apps on start property go to the app property here and then you can see here there will be on start and inside the on start property we can write a code so uh, i already uh, written the code and i just copy pasted over here you can see uh, i want to create a collection uh, those are best novels and their authors okay so what i have done i have written a function clear collect that means as i told you the clear function the clear collect function will help you to clear all the existing uh, data and uh, it will add new data into it so I have used clear collect function and I, I need to provide or you need to provide a collection name over here that is call best novels I provided and here you can see the data and you can see novel is my um, header name author is my another header name so there are two columns this is my collection and these are the two uh, columns into that and you need to provide the value or data into it. So breathing lesson is, is my novel name and the any uh, tailor is my author name. Same, uh, I, if you want to um, store another data, then you can, uh, again, you need to put uh, this collection header, novel and author, and you need to provide the value. So there are uh, one, two, three, four. So total of four record I want to store in this Power Ups collection. So once it is done, you can format the text. And it is done, you need to save and publish your app, and uh, then you need to run the uh, onStat property, 
and then only you can see the collection over here so here you can see go to this ellipses and run on start so now done and you can see here the variable so go to hit this variable to see your collection and you can see once you'll expand this collection you can see the call best noble is a uh, provided collection name over here once you'll click on it view table and here you can see all the four records that you have created so this is a temporary table known as power ups collection you can see the author and nobles are both are power ups collection headers and these are the four records in this way we can create a power ups collection manually next i will tell you how we can create a power ups collection using a button control so in this example you can see uh, this is simple this is not a form this is simple you can see these are the label control and these are the text input control this is the drop down control this is a uh, date control and this is a button control so like uh, like whenever user will provide any data into it and once you will, they will click on this order then it will create a collection let me show you how you can do that so I told you all these are text input control i just rename you can see here in the left navigation you can see all the uh, uh, text input control uh, and date control and uh, the drop down control as well as the label control i renamed it i will just go to this button control uh, just uh, go to the unselect property and then you can write the code you can expand here so the code will be collect and you need to provide a call product details that is your collection name so here the prod id prod name prod quantity all these things are collection header name and you can see the text txt pid this is my text input uh, control name this is txt pid this is my txt p name this is my txt p quantity this is my ddp color and this is my uh, dtp sales state so here you can see uh, I have put all the uh, control name including dot text and he is this is my product quantity and as it is a drop down control so I need to provide the value as dot selected dot value and finally the sales date you can see DTP sales date dot selected date that's it now just now just save and publish the app and uh, once you publish this version you can preview the app just give the product id something one two three and just provide the product name is laptop and if you will provide the uh, product quantity four and selective color is black and you need to provide a date is 20 and then click on this button order so once it is done just go back to the same collection here you can see here this call and you can see the collection has created here so just click on ellipses and view table you can see this is my uh, record that I uh, stored. I mean, this is the collection that I created with prod color, prod ID, prod name, prod quantity, and prod sales test. So this is the way that how we can create a power ups collection using a button control. Next, I will show you how we can create a power ups collection using a set point list. So for that, I I will use a uh, set point list called employee leave request you can see the leave reason half date type of leaves approval status start date and end date all these are fields now i want uh, to use this set point list and i want to create a power ups collection in my uh, power ups application for that what i will do as i told you you can create a power ups collection anywhere like screens on visible property apps on start property and as well as power buttons on select property as I have done a power ups uh, like on start property and as well as button control here I will uh, create a power ups collection using screens on visible property so go to the invisible property let me tell you whenever you will use any type of data source connector before that you need to uh, connect the data source uh, over here so as I am using set point list so just I will search set point list sorry not here uh, I will just search connectors and uh, or else you can search here set point you can see here and I will connect a connection and then it will ask me uh, select the sites 
so i will select it power apps and then it will ask me the list name as yes, my list name is employee leave request then connect so now my power apps uh, now my sharepoint list has been connected over here and uh, as i told you i want to uh, create a collection on, on visible property so i will write the code over here so i copy pasted this code as i have already uh, written in a notepad uh, so clear collect i have uh, mentioned call employee leaves call emp leaves is my collection name and the employee leave request is my uh, set point list name so it is done so now what will happen uh, like once you'll uh, change any screen then the collection will create you can display your uh, collection items using a gallery control or rather table control so how you can do it so go to the insert select any type of vertical gallery or you can uh, or you can take a, a data table control also so here you can see the call employee lives you need to choose the collection name that you have created using sharepoint list so here it is call employee lives so so you need to provide the call employee lives and then you can see here data is not displaying so why it is not displaying uh, so uh, before that if you want to change the layout of the power of scalar control you can go to the layout option here and you can select any type of uh, layout as per your need so here why data is not showing that means you can select this level control here you can see complex asset id that means i don't want i want to see the leaves so you can put the title as your uh, in the first level control or title and in the second level control i don't want to see you comment so i can i i want to see the uh, type of leaves so i can put this type of leaves as it is a choice column so i need to put dot value so you can see here this is my title or reason and uh, this is my type uh, like uh, this is my uh, what the uh, type of leaves so in this way we can create a power apps collection using a sharepoint list if you want to know more about this power apps uh, uh, collection i have written a full article in spguides.com you can visit this site and uh, you can search by create collection in power apps with examples i have uh, researched and i have done uh, everything and i have covered up everything in this post as well as i will uh, provide this uh, link in uh, in the below description box you can follow it and uh, you can make your application as per your need so if you really like this video kindly subscribe uh, our youtube channel for more videos like this thank you and have a nice day